let's have third degree sequence or cubic. Find the general term of 1, 7, 25, 61, 121, 211, and 337. So, let's verify first if this is a third degree sequence by getting the interval. The given is 1, 7, 25, 61, 121, 211, 337. So the interval, 1 to 7, 6, 7 to 25, 18, 25 to 60, 211 to 121, 90, then 211 to 337 is 126. So indeed, this is not the first layer or first degree. Let's go further. 6 to 18 is 12, 18 to 36, 18. Then 36 to 60, it is 24. Then 60 to 90 is 30. Then 90 is 36. So not second degree, quadratic. So let's proceed. So up to 18, 6, 18, 6, 6, and then 6. So it is indeed a third degree sequence or qubit because the third layer numbers are equal or constant so with this i'm not going to discuss the long method of finding the general term of this rather i would discuss the shortcut way of solving or finding the general term now um in the shortcut method of second degree if you can still remember there are three formulas that you have to um, come up. In a third degree or cubic, there are four, okay? The first is 6a equals the third interval, which is this one, okay? Third day interval. The second formula is 12a plus 2b is equal to the first number in the second layer which is this one okay and then for the third formula it goes like this 7a plus 3b plus c is equal to the second term minus the first term or it's this one okay the first number in the first layer and then the fourth formula is a plus b plus c plus d is equal to the first term so the pattern is just the same i mean the concept is just the same equals 6 the first formula equals 12 the second formula equals 6 the third formula and the last formula equals um 1 okay so let's start coming up with 4 um Formulas. The reference again for cubic is a sub n is equal to a n cube plus b n squared plus c n plus d. Which means you're going to find all a, b, c, and d values using the four formulas. So the first formula goes like 6a equals the first I mean, not the first number, equals the third layer value, which is 6. So 6a equals 6. So divide this by 6, a is equal to 1. Okay, that's first. Second formula, 12a plus 2b equals the first number in the second layer okay 
which is, in this case, is 12. So 12a plus 2b is equal to 12. You will now solve for b using the value of a, which is 1, by substituting it here. So 12 times 1 plus 2b is equal to 12, which will be 12 times 1 is 12. So transpose that to the other side. So 2b is equal to 12 minus 12, which is 0 equals 2b. Divide both sides by 2, b is equal to 0. You have a, you have b, and then for the third formula, the formula is 7a plus 3b plus c equals the first i mean yeah the first number first term subtracted from the second term or in this case it is six okay so this will be it's like seven minus one which is six so seven a which is again substitute these two values in the third equation so seven times 1 plus 3 times 0 plus c equals 6 this will be 7 so transpose that to the other side it will be negative 7 this will be 0 leaving only c and c equals negative 1 okay you have a you have B, you have C. Let's solve now for D using the fourth formula. I have no more space left here. So let's have it here. Okay, fourth formula goes A plus B plus C plus D equals the first term, which is 1. Okay. So A is 1, B is 0, C is negative 1, then D plus D is equal to 1. 1 plus 0 plus negative 1 is 0, leaving only D, which is leaving D, which is 1. So you have A, you have B, you have C, and you have D. So the general term now here, using this, is um, A n cube again plus B n squared plus C n plus D. Substitute 1 n cube plus 0 times n squared plus negative 1 times n plus 1 so this will be 1 times n cube is n cube this will be 0 this will be minus n plus 1 this is now your general term Again, you have to verify um, your answer by checking at least two, okay? The answer is a n, a sub n is equal to n cube minus n plus one. So let's see if that is correct. Let's find first, second term, two cube minus two plus one. This will be 8 minus 2 plus 1. What is 8 minus 2 plus 1? It is 7. And the second term in the given is 7. Let's have another example. I mean checking. A sub so 4. 4 cube minus 4 plus 1. 
4 cube minus 4 plus 1 4 cube is 64 minus 4 plus 1 is this will be 60 plus 1 61 and that's correct the fourth term in the sequence therefore this one is correct